Let's go out to Cleveland, Stephen A. Smith, and what's your takeaway from game four? Well, first of all, Kyrie Irving is absolutely sensational as an offensive player. Had seven three-pointers, dropped 40, did what he wanted when he wanted for most of the night. LeBron James continues to show why he's the best player in the world. Put forth a triple-double, a triple double, add, add, added three uh, three-pointers of his own. Kevin Love showed up six three-pointers. J.R. Smith showed up for the second game in a row. And more importantly, Cleveland seemed more hell-bent on saving face and making sure that Golden State didn't celebrate in their building for a second time in three years then Golden State appeared to really, really want it. Kevin Durant appeared to be the only individual for Golden State that really, really wanted to win and close this series out tonight. Everybody else appeared to be lollygagging. They didn't seem focused. They didn't seem tenacious. They didn't seem nearly as into it as Kevin Durant, and it showed, and I think that's why it's going to be a Game 5. What's your expectation, Game 5, Monday? Well, I expect the Golden State Warriors to win. I'd be shocked if they did not win uh, because then things will get really, really tight because then Cleveland gets, gets to come back here. But Golden State, I think you can expect them to be ready. They gave up 49 points in the first quarter. That's an NBA Finals record. 86 in the first half. That's an NBA Finals record. 13 three-pointers in the first half. That's an NBA Finals record. Defensively, it was an absolutely abysmal and embarrassing performance. And I think having a weekend to prepare before hosting a Game 5 in their building with that crowd, I think Golden State will be ready to close this out. If Cleveland shoot, hit shots the way that they did tonight, of course they could win. But I don't, I don't anticipate that they'll make 24 three-pointers the way they did in Game 4 tonight. So I'm going to anticipate that the Warriors will close it out Monday. If you are wrong, how tight do you expect the Warriors to be for a Game 6? Oh, they need to be. They will be very tight, and it, because Cleveland came back from a three-one deficit, now you were down three-zero. It came back three-one last year. Now you're down three-zero, and you win two games, and then you come back to Cleveland, knowing one victory in your building, in Cleveland's building, will force a game seven again. That's not a situation that the Golden State Warriors want to face once again. It's one thing if you're going back and forth an entire series, but the specter of being the first team in history to blow a a 3-0 lead in an NBA Finals, no way they want that scenario. Game 5 is very, very important because if they lose Game 5, the likelihood is that they'll lose Game 6 and there will be a Game 7 back at the Oracle, which would put immense pressure on them. They want no parts of that. Game 5 will be treated as if it's a Game 7 by the Golden State Warriors on Monday. You better believe that. Any thoughts on Sunday's game in Nashville for the Stanley Cup? No, I'm not a hockey dude. I'm not going to lie to America and pretend that I am. Stephen A. Smith.